All right, this video is going to get us a good start on taking a so-so looking part in Finale. This is sort of the default generated part. We're going to do a few things to clean it up to make it much tidier and much easier to read, like this. And the consequence of this is, is going to be performed better and uh, with less stress by the person playing it. Again, here's the one before it. On the left and the one on the right is sort of the after picture. All right, here we go. So one of the things is I like when I'm playing a part, I kind of like to see the form of it if I can. Um, so for instance, if it has eight measure phrases and I'm and it works to put four measures on a line, then I find that really helpful because let's say I'm in the middle of a section and I get messed up with my counting and I'll see letter D coming up at the beginning of the line or a double bar, then it'll just kind of help me keep my place. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select all the measures from letter A up until the solo section begins. And I'm going to use this tool that just says fit four measures on a line. And it's probably, it's under the utilities menu. But man, I do everything with keyboard shortcuts. So the keyboard shortcut is that Shift Command M. When you, so you might know this already, but when you press Shift Command M, you get this dialog box that does a bunch of things. And one is you can lock layout with four measures per system. So everything that I've highlighted, it's going to just put four bars a line per line on it, and that'll get me started. Okay. Um, and this is good up here. I can see A, B, and C are all in the left margin. I like that. This looks a little wide, and I'll adjust that in a minute to make it look really to make it look better. Um, but let's just get our our basic layout. So I want to move this letter D down. Now on my keyboard, I have up and down arrow keys. So all I have to do is press the down arrow. On your laptop, you may not have those keys, in which case you have to figure out which measures you want to be on the same line. So I've decided I want this one. One, two, three, four measures together. You hit your Shift Command M. And we're going to select the middle button here. And what that does is that puts everything on one line. Done. So let's see what else we have. I'm going to do the same thing right here for these four measures. Now I need to go back. I'm going to select all these measures again. Select lock layout with four measures per system. And I can see you must not have used the chord tool for these chord changes. It looks like you may have, aha. Uh -huh. So now the chords didn't move with the measures. We'll fix that later. For now, I'm going to erase them. Nah, I'll just move them over here out of the way. Drag. Oops, bye-bye. What am I going to do? Well, I'll just leave them there for now. Uh, and so up from the very, I should say from letter A all the way up through H, I've got four measures aligned. It's going to be it's so readable. Um, only exception is here the five measures because there's an extra bar in the form. If it's fine. It doesn't squeeze it too tight. I think what you've done here with the eight measures on that is fine because um, it's not jam-packed with loads of chord changes. Um, so it, it's, it is readable. I'm going to show you a cool trick, though. This, is, this goes back to pen and ink, music copying. Guys would take these repeat brackets and make the bar really thick and put little wings on them just to help it jump out a little more visually. So I go to my document options and of course which is under what is that under? Uh, oh, the very very beginning bottom of the document menu, document options. But of course you know that I would use that keyboard shortcut because that's just well, that's the way I roll baby uh, so I go under repeat 
Where are my repeats? Here are my repeats. And I'm going to select Curved, and, let, and I'm going to press Apply. And if you look, it put the little wingy things on them. But check this out. Heavy line thickness. I'm gonna let's see what it looks like with. I'll double it. I'll make it 24. That might be too thick. Maybe that's a little too thick, but I'll do 21. I like that. I think that looks good. All of a sudden, when you're reading your part, you can see a little more easily where to jump back to. Okay. Um, This is good. All right, now our beautiful four measures of line are thrown off a little bit, but that's fine. I'm going to move this measure down. I don't like to, to split up phrases if I don't have to. I like to give a look on a rest or on a long note. So that's good. And that'll be fine, these four measures. Split this up. So now we're on four pages. We don't want that. We'll, we'll, we're going to cheat a little bit and figure out how to get some room. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's good. And I on a page. So I'm going to look for some opportunities to consolidate a couple lines now. Do, do, do. Looking around, I bet. Get a, these are all half notes and whole notes. Probably squeeze those on without too much damage. I wonder if I can get all six of those. Yeah, it's a little tighter than old Rick likes it. It's gonna, so I love just massaging things around just to see how they look. Now, it's, of course, it's cluttered. We've got all these chord changes in the wrong place. Okay, we need to be able to squeeze this system up. What do we have here? So, I'm looking at this edit systems margin, your numbers 104, the distance between systems 104. Weird. I never understand that distance between systems business. I always set it to zero, <laughs> personally. Oh, well, I made it fit. Okay, what do we have here? So let me show you some more. Okay, I'm gonna stop there because this will make it a long video.